All right, welcome to the Rockets 2.0 help video. We're gonna talk about a couple things that have come up over over time that I've learned um, that people have issues with. And so I'm gonna try to quickly get to that so that way you aren't struggling with some of those complications. All right, so we're gonna start with engineering. And if you want, you can um, turn all these eyeballs on so that you can see the default uh, rocket here. So that's your default rocket. Um, and as always, we're going to want to go to outputs to see what is and is not in spec. So we're going to go to outputs, design specs, and we will see this is where most people have trouble, which I think white box figured out because down here they give you, um, some problem solving tips. So I'm just going to kind of, uh, illustrate that. So parachute deploy status. So when, we, when we're launching these rockets out on the field, we're not gonna use the parachutes. They don't work, it's a pain in the butt, and so it's just not even worth it. We're, when we design these in class and launch them, we're, we're just gonna not have the parachute and we're gonna see how far they can go and, and we're not gonna worry about parachute. But in this case, we are worried about um, the rocket recovery system and so that's why we have the, in the digital portion, we are worried about the parachute, okay? So, moving on to this. So, parachute will not deploy. It could be two things. It could be, one, the internal volume of the nose cone tube is too small. So, basically, your nose cone tube, if we go back to engineering, this piece right here, this um, nose tube, is either too small or too large. So, because you have a parachute that has to go inside of there. So if it's too small, it's going to fit too tight and it won't be able to um, deploy. But if we go back to outputs, design specs, our nose length is already out of spec because it's too long. So it can't be that it's too small. So that's not the problem. So it's number two. The mass of the nose ball is less than 20 grams. So let's go back to engineering. Let's check out nose. There's the clay mass. It said 20 grams. So Right now it's zero grams. That's why it's not deploying. If we throw 20 grams in there, hit apply, and we go over back to our outputs, design specs, we are good, we can deploy now. So that's the main fix right there that you're gonna have. So if you see that will not deploy, it's two things. It's either there's an issue with your nose length or it's that clay mass. And 99 times out of 100, it's gonna be that clay mass. We've already, our designed uh, nose length is already too long. So we need to go back to engineering and open up the cone tube and we need to shrink this down. It's either that, or you can also shrink the cone, the transi transition length down too. You can do both. Okay, so I don't, I'm just gonna throw 170 in there, hit apply. And let's just check outputs and see if we're in spec just from doing that. We are. Now again, as always, this doesn't mean you have the best rocket. It just means that you're able to now go into that competition and shoot these rockets off and at least compete. Okay. Um, a couple other things that you can change while we're here um, is if you talk about, so propulsion, right? When when you were doing the research, there's a cool area over here about thrust, and it's it talks about like understanding this graph right here is gonna kind of talk about the effect of the how much water volume and air pressure you have. So um, down here you have water volume, and over here you have uh, rocket velocity. Okay. The blue line is two liter bottle with a hundred psi. Unfortunately, you. We, Unfortunately, white box won't let me put anything higher than 75. But when we go out and shoot them, we'll, we're gonna probably do them higher than 75, okay? Um, so it's just showing you the blue line, two liter bottle with 100 PSI, okay? How much water volume, how much water volume with 100 PSI is gonna be best, okay? So re understanding this graph is going to be key in under in, in figuring out how much water volume to put in here okay and then pressure again 
I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, you're probably want, gonna want max pressure and the max on this is 75. It won't let you go to 100. If you try to t try to put 100 in, it's it just throws you at 75, okay? Now water volume, you can make your own determination on that, okay? Using that graph. And if you're having trouble reading that graph, call me over, I'll help you understand it better, okay? Um, you can change, now stick to a two liter bottle or two liter Pepsi. We're not gonna shoot the 1.25 or 20 ounce Coke, okay? Somebody brought in like a liter bottle and it blew up crazy it was loud and um yeah we shouldn't do that so we're gonna we're just gonna do two liters you can either bring in a coke or a pepsi or a Publix bottle i don't really care uh, but when you're designing if you if you notice look at the shape of this i'm gonna change it from coke to pepsi and then hit apply you're gonna see the shape change and so that does have an effect on drag okay so uh, just be aware of that and when you're designing um just keep that in mind okay now we're gonna go to um cone transition you can change you can change the color you can change the 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 size of that okay so i don't if you just want you can mess around with it they do have an effect on things okay surface area just changed so there's there's things that when you're when you're changing you're having an effect on the flight of this Okay, so just be careful of that. There are some awesome analytics over here that you can look at. Drag, thrust, weight, stability. Okay, always remember to go to outputs and just constantly make sure you're in specs and when you're making changes that you're not um, um, accidentally getting out of spec. Okay, if you're trying to mess with the fins, you go down to obviously the fins, you can, um, you can do five points. So you're gonna notice these dots change, okay? You can do four points. You can do number of fins, three, four, five, or six. I think actually, I think the specs are set at five. So if we do six, we might be off a spec. Yeah, so we, we can only do five fins, all right? Um, you can do, I mean, you can do less than that if you want. I'm just saying, don't do six. Um, you can change your material here. You can change the color of it. And again, all of those things are going to have an effect on flight. Okay, so just, you know, at this point, we are, you know, midway through the course and you've pretty much figured out how to maneuver back and forth between these tabs. And you should know um, how to go back and research something if you need to. Okay, so I guess, you know, at this point, my the main reason I made this video is because because this is this is a pretty easy one. Like this, this project's pretty easy. Um, you're gonna get in spec really quick, and you know you're gonna have pr a pretty good rocket um, in a day or so. All right, so this isn't that that confusing. The only part, the reason I made this video was because of that um, that nose right here, this clay mass, and the and the fact that 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 parachute doesn't come out. Okay, if you change this mass to 20 grams, then you're good. You should be in spec, and you should at least have a rocket that's able to compete in this competition All right so that's pretty much it for this video um i hope it helped if you obviously anytime you have a question call me over i'll be there and that's pretty much it for the video All right